Today on Moving Day, we meet a surveyor who's selling all this as part of his ingenious plan for building a brand new home. Welcome to Moving Day. Today we're in the town of Berkhamsted, which in a recent survey came out as one of the top ten places to live in the country. And we've come to meet a man who's moving from a house he's lived in for 20 years. Tomorrow he's leaving a six-bed Victorian house and moving into a modern four-bed. Oh yes, but here's the twist. The new place is right next door. Peter Brown is a busy charter surveyor. Since separating from his wife four years ago, he's been rattling around this large family home all on his own. His two grown-up children, Claire, 23, and Mark, 20, have also flown the nest, so now it's time to downsize. Peter's French girlfriend, Claudine, lives in London. She spends weekends with Peter and will continue to do so at the new place, so she's just as excited about the move as he is. It's the day before the move, and with such a large house, the removal team have started packing up early. This place is beautiful, isn't it? Not bad. Hello, Peter. We're here. Hello there. Hi. Hi. How are you? Doing? How are you? Hi. Come through, please. Thank you very much. As it's such a great day, let's go out into the garden because I'm actually being moved out at the moment. So. How are you by the removal men? Straight here. in, straight out. I know. So we're coming out of here. This is yeah. lovely. Yeah, it's superb. Oh, it's beautiful out here. And it's just green everywhere you look. Being in the business, chartered surveyor Peter has an ambitious plan. He has redrawn the boundaries of his property and is only selling about a quarter of the garden with the house. He is keeping the rest for himself and has fenced it off to build on. Is that something you've always wanted to do, build your own house? Yeah, I guess, Gavin, yeah. The idea of um, building something myself appeals as I'm a surveyor and, and in property. And I think, in any event, uh, most Englishmen would probably like to build their own house if they had the opportunity, and the chance doesn't present itself very often. One of the reasons for selling this place first is because it releases some capital to help build a new place, so it, 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 it helps financially to do that. Ingeniously, the perfect stopgap just happens to be on the other side of his plot of land. Buying the smaller house next door means Peter not only frees up his capital, but can also oversee the construction work. The house he's going to build will end up nestling between the two properties. He's drawn up the plans, planning permission has been granted, and he's ready to go. Right, here we go, wow. So, here's the current house. Yes. Here's the plot you see just beyond the fence. Yeah. There. And there's the house I'm buying. So, moving from here to there, Mm -hmm. building that, moving from there to there, selling that. Peter's plans sound amazing, but in the meantime, I want to look around this place. Now, this really is a fantastic room, lovely, calming colours in here. The house is Victorian, it's got lots of original features, the fireplace, the lovely turret over there, you've got views over the garden from every single angle. Bit of a collector, there's a load of glasses there, a few knick-knacks on the fireplace, and a load of books. Now, haven't got to worry about these, the packers will take care of them. Well, Peter, at least you won't have to leave this beautiful scenery behind. No, that's very true. Just hopping next door, you'll get it all the same. You know, fantastic. Yes. This is a wonderful house. Have you got lots of fond memories from this house? Give me a brief potted history. Got great memories. Uh, I've been here for 20 years, uh, during which time I saw my children grow up from that high up to taller than I am. I see the removal men have arrived today, but tomorrow is moving day. So why are the, why are the removal men in the first place when you're just going over the wall? That's a very good question, but uh, they felt they couldn't move me out and in on the same day because they wouldn't get everything out before the new people want to move in, mm -hmm. so they move out everything out the day before, and because they're doing that, they've got to load a furniture van, take it away several miles, and bring it all back tomorrow to the house next door. Psst, come have a look at this. Check out the wallpaper in this toilet. When selling this house, Peter got in a professional to give interior design advice to make sure that it wasn't left on the market for too long. It really paid off. The place looks like a show home. A lick of paint in neutral colours makes the world of difference and the main tip for everyone is declutter, declutter, declutter. Loads of rooms in this house. There's a bedroom through there with a bathroom next to it. Spare bathroom through this way. Another bedroom behind this wall over here. On the other side of the corridor, what used to be Claire's room. And talking about period features, we've got this fantastic gallery staircase 
which takes you up to another level where there's a further two more bedrooms. Right, Gavin, you've had a quick scoot around the house. What is your professional opinion of the packing scenario? Well, this has got to be the easiest move we've ever done. They're only going next door and they've got a full packing service to I do I know, it. fantastic. Just a cinch right over the wall. Great stuff. Um, now, your man Peter seems very calm and relaxed. One thing he did mention was that the kitchen needs to be sorted, the food and everything. I think I should take that on as a task. OK, you know, I need to grab Peter as well. Mm -hmm. Just have a look around the house as well and see if there's anything I can help him with. Let's get on with it. Right, Peter, this bench has got to go, hasn't it? Unfortunately, yes. Is this your handiwork? It is. Uh, 30 years old, probably. Now, the house you're moving to, that hasn't got a cellar, has it? Not the first house, no. The so you're already one. thinking about your next move. That's really. at least seven, eight months yeah. away. I know. Um, so where's this going to go in the time being? Uh, I don't know. The garage, probably. OK. Yeah. And then, once you get your new cellar? Uh, theoretically, it'll go down there, yeah. A workshop, oh. yeah. Peter's worried about getting his precious workbench round the corner and up these narrow stairs. So we're going to take it apart. Right, there we go, Peter. Just put that back on there. We'll have to put some uh, grease on those when we put it back together. Yep. Moment of truth now. And you're sure it's just four bolts? We'll soon find out. Right, look who's turned up. It's the lady in Peter's life, Claudine. And Hello. We're to... Hello there. We're going to attack the kitchen together. It's a sort of joint effort. Are you excited about this move? Yes, I am. Very much so. Yeah, I'm moving just next door. Next door, and uh, it's going to be a new house, and a uh, lot of possibility in decoration, and... Um... Yes, yeah, very exciting. Peter says that you're quite creative. You have a certain flair about you. I know what I like. Yes, and what is that? How would you describe your style? Mixing a bit of everything together, a bit of uh, modern and a bit of antique and... Uh... Yeah, contemporary with a sort of yes, cheeky twist. Yes, yes, yes. I can see you being quite a cheeky lady with cheeky <laughs> ideas. <laughs> Full of fun, isn't she? Right, come on, let's get stuck into these cupboards, shall we? And what's important when we're packing all this stuff is to make sure that nothing is out of date. This is time to get rid of all the stuff that could be old, especially spices, they can go off quite quickly. Plus, make sure that all the lids are screwed on tightly. What kind of guy would you say that Peter is, you know? How would you describe him as a person? Peter is somebody who is very energetic and very kind and very... try to be on top of everything and uh, quite organised. He seems very organised with this mood. And actually very calm and peaceful about it. Definitely, yes. <gasps> oh! Olives. Oh, yes, but look what's going on inside Hello. the olives. Moment of truth. Let's see if this will go through that doorway now. Well, Peter was saying, why can we not keep these? He said they may be out of date Oof. for a few years, but I said to him, this will kill you. I'm feeling lucky. I mean, look, I said you're free, isn't smell it? that, Claudine. Yeah, I'm sure. Smell. Oh, c'est dégoûtant. Oh, look at that. All the way. I would not do that anyway. You OK? Yep. Oh, weird. That's the packing dump. It might be the shortest move ever for Peter, but his belongings have to travel a few miles for overnight storage. Yeah. You've taken it all in your stride today with removal men yeah, coming yeah. in and taking everything uh, out. It's all been very hectic, but it seems to have gone very well. Now, Claudine tells me that tomorrow morning you're not actually going to be here. You've got to go no, to a I've meeting. No, I've got a meeting in London tomorrow morning. This is crazy. Could the meeting not have been postponed? No, no, we, we can't avoid it. Now, in terms of the computer, have you backed up all your important files onto a floppy disk? No. Ah, uh, maybe that's something you could do tonight, okay. because I can sort your computer out for Thank you tomorrow morning. Right. So, Gavin, this move next door for Peter, is it a good move or a bad move? Definitely, definitely a good move. Mm -hmm. He's downsizing, more manageable house, he's got his plot for his dream house, everything's sort of come round. He seems ready for the move, the removal men, got everything sorted, easy move. Easy peasy, over the fence. And also, you know, the family have flown the nest a few years ago, and I think he is now ready for this new chapter in his life, a new challenge building his new house. Fantastic. Definitely. Now, moving day tomorrow morning, he will not be here. He's got a big meeting. What? Which means the girls are going to be in charge, in control. Never mind. Here we go. <laughs> He's supposed to fight back. What happens? It feels quite momentous, I suppose, because 20 years is an awful long time. But, on the other hand, I think mentally I've already made the move. Now the house is empty. The key thing in it going smoothly tomorrow is everyone else in the chain 
completing their purchases so I in turn can complete mine. Because if there's a hold up there, that's likely to be, be the biggest fly in the ointment. Coming up, Peter's fears are confirmed as the purchase of his new house is put on hold. It's the morning of Peter's moving day and he's not here. Yup, in the dedicated world of surveying, move or no move, he's had to go down to London for a really important meeting with clients and he will not be back till later. Fear not, though. Luckily, girlfriend Claudine and daughter Claire are here to help. And, of course, there's us as well. It's a dream team. Bonjour, good morning. Bonjour, good morning. mademoiselle. Hi. Happy moving day to you all. How Thank are you, you feeling? Much. We will need it. Yeah. You're both looking very glamorous for this day of high activity. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Sally. We've yeah. gone combat. You've gone sort of French glamour meets babe. <laughs> is this practical, we ask ourselves? It is. It, yeah. is. it has to be. It so has to be. I think you've got to really get stuck in today, because no Peter, so, I mean, yeah. it's up to well, us. Not I'm, much else to do, though. So. It's like Charlie okay. and his angels. Come on. Only slightly different. Dad, why don't you go and have a chat with the removal men? Already, he's annoying. <laughs> OK. The removal team are back for the beds and the last few bits and pieces. And I have a computer to sort out. Now, I'm useless at this sort of thing, so I'm going to colour code the cables with stickers so I know where they all go back to when we get to the other end. I'm also using cable ties to make sure the wires don't get damaged en route. Some meeting. Peter's back from London already. Do you reckon, do you reckon he's really been to a meeting? <laughs> Or have you just been for a power no, brunch, no, no. coffee or something? Honestly, I have been working. I can give you references and testimonials and all sorts of things to prove it. I believe you, sir. I believe you, sir. But I think, you, suit. I, think, I think you've got to get changed and get uh, stuck in and we can uh, get the move done, because we're almost ready. Good. I'll go on. I'll see you in a minute. Should we go and have a coffee now, Claudie? Oh, should. Yeah, should. Right. This house must have been such a laugh to grow up in. I love this galleried Absolutely area up here. Brilliant, yeah. What kind of pranks did you and your brother get up to? Well, Mark and I used to get up to all sorts of mischief here. Yeah. Um, we used to get in a lot of trouble for swinging this great big chandelier from side to side. Yeah. In fact, I think we pretty much broke all of those individual lampshades at one point, so they all had to be replaced. That's a disgrace. So were the parentals going mental, saying, we, stop that, yeah, don't touch... We used touch to get in a lot of trouble for swinging that backwards and forwards. He used to come upstairs and tell us off, but... We used to be up here and pretend that we were, you know, on a ship on a or ship. something. Yeah. It was great fun, yeah. This is the famous wall. Oh. The wall of marks. It's the chart. The height of the, the, the family. Yeah. Look at that. It's amazing. I mean, little Mark, this is 96, so what, eight years ago? And yeah. he, was, he was that big? Louis saw. He's, he's younger than you, is he? Yep, he's two and a half years younger than me. Right, so that's him down there. Yeah. And that... then how high does Mark go eventually? Mark goes right up to here. Oh, this is pretty, pretty tall. tall. Mark was a giant. Oh, he still is no. a giant. He's up there. Where are you, Peter? Uh, where are you? Well, I'm Dad's there. there. Dad. D for Dad. Yes. In fact, I'm yes, pretty yes, sure you've, you've shrunk since no, you last I haven't time. Really Should we put possibly. you in the position to see if that's actually a lie? I would really like to cling on to that. That would be tremendous. Yeah. We can't prize that off camera. It's a shame. It's a real memory, isn't it? Even though Claudine is keen to get the bins next door to the new house, Peter doesn't technically own it yet. The call hasn't come through from the solicitor, but there is a reason behind that. While I've been away, I've discovered the phone company have been super efficient. They've already transferred the number to the new house, and so when the solicitor's phone up to tell me completion's taken place, the phone will be ringing in the new house to say that, and uh, I won't get the message here, so I need to just sort that out. Yeah. Why don't you maybe give them a call now yep. and tell them that you, they can phone you on the mobile phone rather than the other number? I'm going to have to leave a message. No, it's OK. This is Peter Brown. Uh, would you please telephone me on my mobile number in order to uh, leave any messages about completion because the home line has now been transferred to the new house, so I won't get the message. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Now, look at this, Peter. Look at the three wallflowers Hello. sitting here, relaxing in the sunshine. Hi. Nice glasses, Gavin. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> listen, there's no news. That yeah. is the news. There is no news. Still mm. waiting for a big yeah. call. Still waiting for the Haven't call. Haven't heard anything. Nothing. The solicitors have gone for lunch. Oh, really? Yeah. Believe it. So <laughs> I hate it up. when people just down tools and go I for know, lunch. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> so let's just relax. Lunch. Let's just relax and um, hope we get a Take call. Take the sun. Very soon. Yeah. Enjoy the sunshine. I think so. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. OK. Let's chill out. I'm not too stressed about that, are you, Peter? Not really, Gavin. No. <laughs> he's, getting, he's getting more and more stressed. The more times we say to him, are you feeling stressed? So begins a very long lunch break. 
two hours later, Peter's mobile phone finally rings with news of completion and the new owner's removal team starts unloading. Hi, this is it. We are now leaving the building. Officially, it's no longer your house. Yep. No, it is. You've That's completed. Quite correct. I have completed and so the house no longer belongs to me. How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling good because I want to move in next door. He's itching Yeehaw. to get on with it. Yeehaw, she says. Yeehaw. And look, the new people's van has already arrived. We've started unloading their stuff. I can't believe they're here already. They're already bringing their stuff in and we haven't even finished moving out but yet. But technically, <laughs> it doesn't belong to you, the no, house anymore. I don't want to go yet. I'm not ready. Do you want to pop back in and stay for another have, week? I'm going to have to just have a little look around before I leave. <laughs> You've done that. This is time to no. move on. Come on, Claire, you Gotta can go. do okay. it. Okay. You're not going to get all the motion, are you? No, it's fine. She's going to be fine. No, try not to cry. <laughs> Peter, would you like to lead the way and we'll follow you? You'd be like the right. pride pipe as we walk down the hill. Peter sold his family home with only a quarter of the garden for £700,000. He estimates the cost of building his new home on the plot of land he's kept will be £250,000. In the meantime, he's bought the house next door for £575,000. Send the keys in the door, big moment. Good Ready? luck. Can I go in? Go for it! Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> we're excited, we're ready! Oh. Well, that's a nice parquet floor. This is the lounge, very nice. You don't like that bookshelf system, do you? But I like it, actually. I like I that. Like it's it. very practical. You know all like these little hinges? I don't like it. Because... You can take all these out and move them all completely, because there's runners on either side. Very, very practical. That would cost someone a lot of money to have that piece. It cost £8,000, I believe, that. Really? I could have done it for six. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look around the house. <laughs> Lovely. It's nice and bright, but lots yeah, of it's it's nice it's running it's kitchen. So you can sort of cook and eat at the same time, chat yes. and have your yeah. guests here. It's mm -hmm. quite social. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, the wall here was a bit of a question mark for me because I wasn't sure about the wall. Either a full wall or no wall at all, but not half a wall. I found it a bit strange, but I'm sure we can live with I it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. It kind of breaks it up a bit. Bit of a divide. And also, um, look at where we're all sitting against the wall. It's I almost a good. place to sit already. Yeah, yeah. place it's to good. lean. Yeah, but actually, sitting. that's where going to be the. Um, and it, it, it performs a very important function. Table. Actually. It separates the person reading the newspaper from the person preparing the food. It has a function. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who would be reading the newspaper? Say, <laughs> no. No reading the newspaper? I'm reading the newspaper. Oh, right. Oh, okay. 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 And we've got a lovely terrace out here. Look. That's sort of such a pretty In the sunlight. And oh, I love this terrace. It's fantastic out here. The view. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's Mediterranean moment. Can I have barbecue there? Look at you getting all excited. Yes. You've got all planned. Do you yes. know where the bench is going to go yet? I haven't worked that out. No. Oh, yeah. we'll get there there. Maybe here, maybe here. Okay. Like right. a completely a different bit. view from your last house, isn't it? We can't yes. quite I've see got the castle to from cut here. Cut the trees down, yeah. it'll be an even better view, which I will get on with shortly. <laughs> With your help. He's already done it. On the Are you allowed side. to do that over there? That's the council's, isn't it? Or uses that block too. <laughs> so that's where you're going to start building just over that wall. Yeah. That's first right. thing I need to do mm -hmm. is to get a fence panel removed so I can access it. Yeah, that's kind of important, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe you guys could help with that. Gavin could this afternoon, couldn't you, Gavin? Excellent. Take a couple very large hours. hammer. <laughs> the two-hour delay hasn't phased anyone, and everyone gets stuck in. I just need to grab my tools and find a suitable spot in the fence to knock through. Preferably somewhere that won't be seen from the main road, but is easy to access. I mean, it's quite good because you, you wouldn't be able to see it. No. So no one would, no one would really know. And it keeps Until it the program is out yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. You'll be finished by then. That's true. And um, are you happy with it being in this part here? Because if I just remove those panels... That's great. I'll leave the, um, the bottom runner here and the top one. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll try and remove this centre one yeah, for you, be great. just so you can get a clean run in there. Excellent. That and, would be uh, superb. Having made up the lost time and the unloading's just about done, I can disappear upstairs and set up Peter's computer. Now, Peter's got the most fabulous office space here in the new house, plus the views from here are really to die for. Right now, I'm going to try and reassemble his computer that I packed so beautifully at the other end. With a bit of pre-planning, even a technophobe like me can successfully move and reassemble a computer. Well, we've made it through, and until he starts building, Peter's plot could have other uses. You've got your new house, we've bashed the hole in the fence there, yeah. and now you've got an extension to your garden again. That's true. With Peter on the case, it's not going to stay a garden long, as this is where he will soon start building. Very much. That's a lot easier now, isn't it? 
though the removal team have finished the short move next door, even if it did take them a little bit longer than expected. Anyway, listen, we've been productive today and he's in and that's the main thing. Lots done, everyone's settled and only one thing to go. Oh, yes. It's in here. Housewarming gift. Fabulous TV. He's going to love it. I think this will look Present great lounge. when you lay on, aren't you? Ooh. You're right there. Yes, got it. Left a bit. Ooh, got it. Come on, guys, into your new lounge. Into the lounge. We've got a little okay. housewarming gift we'd like to give oh, you. Oh, well. And here it is. Under the secret oh. cloth. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I am ready. Yes. One, two, three. Two, three. If one oh, of... fantastic. Oh, wonderful. Wow. 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 What a chorus. Wow. Thank you thank very you. much. That's really, thank really good. It's a joy all right. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you really love it. One little worry, though. Yeah. We didn't know if it was going to be too wide for oh, the gap. Oh. But yes. isn't that a beautiful yes. fit? And it's all rigged up, That's ready great. to go. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Jen. Do another cheers. Yeah. Moving Day team. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it Thank from today's you. Moving Day here in Berkhamstead. Thank you for watching. Now, if you're about to move house and you're looking for a bit of inspiration, then why not log on to our website? It is itv.com slash... Moving Day. Oh, yes. So we'll see you very soon. But from me and Gavin and from the rest of the team here in Berkhamstead, a fond farewell. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sante. Bye. Bye. In the months since moving day, Peter has been so busy at work that he hasn't had time to unpack all his belongings. As for starting to build his new home, that will have to wait a bit longer.